everyone. How are you all doing? I hope all of you are fit and fine. Welcome you back in my geography classes. Today, what we will study. So today, we will start with the new chapter for class 6, that is chapter 4, Maps. Now, let us start with the definition of globe. In the previous videos, we have discussed about globes and what are globes, what are its advantages and disadvantages. Let us again rediscuss the definition of globe. So, what is a globe? A globe is a true model of the arc. It helps us to study the arc as a whole. So a globe is a true model of the earth which helps us to study the earth as a whole. So we get to know about the earth's surface. So let us recapitulate the advantages and disadvantages of a globe. Now let us know about the advantages of a globe. The advantages of a globe are number one, the globe shows the exact shape and size of the earth. Number two, the shape size and location of the continents and oceans are shown accurately. Number three, the distance from one location to another is accurately represented on a globe. Now let us know about the disadvantages of a globe. The disadvantages of a globe are number one, only one part of the earth can be seen at a time on a globe. Number two, the globes are heavy and bulky and cannot be stored easily. Number three, globes cannot show small areas in great detail. Number four, the globes cannot provide detailed information about climate, vegetation and agriculture of a place. I hope now all of you can remember the advantages and disadvantages of a globe. Now the question is that why we are studying about globes when our topic is about maps? Because it is very important to understand that why do we need a map? Now in a globe as we know that if we need to study the earth as a whole, that means to study the earth's land surface as a whole, we need a globe. So in that time, globe is very useful. But now suppose we need to study about the countries in the continent. We need to study about a state in a particular country. We need to study about a district or about a city in that particular state. Then how globe will help us? Because globe do not give us any detailed information about the continents or about the states or about the countries or about the region or a city. Then how we will study about these places? We can study about these places with the help of a map. So to study the continents, to study the countries, to study the states, the cities or the district, that means smaller details of these places can be studied with the help of a map. So what is a map? Let us know the definition of a map. Maps are defined as the two-dimensional representation of the Earth's surface or we can also say it as a drawing of the whole Earth's surface or a part of it drawn on a flat surface 
according to scale. So what are maps? Maps are defined as the two-dimensional representation of the Earth's surface or a drawing of the whole Earth's surface or a part of it drawn on a flat surface according to a scale. So you all can see here we have a globe. Now to draw the whole surface of the Earth or to draw a part of it on a flat surface is referred as a map. I hope all of you understood. Now, what is the example of a map? For example, map of India or map of Africa. Now, let us know what are the purpose of a map. Now, let us know that why maps are used. Now, maps are used for different purposes. Now in globe mainly we show the shape and size and the location of continents, the oceans accurately. So here we can get to know about the earth as a whole. But here in maps we can get information about small areas we can get to know about few facts we can also get to know about large areas with many facts there can be many facts in large areas, suppose we get to know about their climate, what type of agriculture is grown there, like we get to know about the rainfall, the roads, everything we can know from the maps. So there can be a map which will give us information about small areas and will give us few facts. There can be maps which will give us information about large areas with many facts like a book, like atlas. Now what is an atlas? When many maps are put together, we get an atlas. So what is an atlas? It is a book which contains maps from small to large scale from few to many facts now atlas can be of various sizes so we can see what is an atlas atlas is a bundle of maps which gives us information about the earth surface or a part of it. Now atlases have been traditionally bounded into a book format but now it is also available in multimedia format. Now the maps provide us great information provide us great or more information than Globes. Now the question is why maps provide us more information than globes? When do we need globe? We need globe to study the earth's surface as a whole. But when we need to study a part of the earth, when we need to study about the continents or the countries or the states or the district or the city or the town, what we need? We need map. So map provide us detailed information of a smaller area which is not possible in a globe. We cannot get that detailed information 
or smaller areas through glow that is provided with the help of map now let us know what are the advantages and disadvantages of a map now what we came to know we came to know about maps the definition of maps we also came to know that how maps provide more information than the globes now the question is what do we call the study and practice of making maps let us know that the study and practice of making maps is called a cartography a person who draws or produces maps is called a cartographer. So the study and practice of making maps is called a cartography and a person who draws or produces maps is called a cartographer. Now let us know about some of the cartographers. Let us know about some of the important cartographers. Claudius Ptolemy was a Greek mathematician and a geographer who lived in Alexandria, Egypt more than 2000 years ago, who created several maps of the world. He created a map of the Roman world, which he called the Old World. Anaximander was the first ancient Greek scientist and geographer to draw a map of the known world. He is considered as the first map maker, the first cartographer. But we cannot access his maps. Do you know why? Due to scarcity of archaeological and written evidences. Now, let us know who is known as the father of computerized cartography. Roger Tumlinson is known as a father of computerized cartography. Henrich Caesar Brown is known as the father of modern cartographic panorama. Now we all know that the shape of the earth or we can say that the shape of the globe is spherical, right? Now, as it is spherical, don't you think it's going to be really problematic when we will try to flatten the round shape? So it is not possible to flatten the round shape completely. There may be some errors and some mistakes. So like globes, map also have certain disadvantages and also have certain advantages. Now let us know what are the advantages and disadvantages of a map. Now map, the most important advantage of a map that it shows smaller area in great detail. That means we can get detailed information about the smaller areas. Maps can be folded. So, can be easily carried from one place to another. Maps can show the entire surface of the earth or a small part of it. It gives a clear view about the small area. The maps are easy 
easier to use. So these are the advantages of a map that it shows smaller area in great detail. Maps can be folded so it can be easily carried from one place to another. Like in globes we cannot carry it from one place to another because it is bulky and it is very heavy to handle. Maps can show the entire surface of the earth or a small part of it. It gives a clear view about the small area. Maps are easier to use. Now let us know what are the disadvantages of a map. We know that our earth is spherical in shape and we know that the globe is a miniature form or miniature representation of the earth. Now it is not possible to flatten the round completely. So there will be some errors and mistakes. So there will be distortion. So the major disadvantage of a map is that all maps have distortions. Why? Because it is impossible to represent a three dimensional object like art accurately on a flat surface. Where will be the distortions? There will be distortions or errors in direction, in shape, in area, in distance. So what are the disadvantages of a map? The main disadvantage of a map is that all maps have distortions because it is not possible to represent a three-dimensional object like Earth accurately on a flat surface. So there will be distortions in direction, shape, area or distance when a spherical object or a three-dimensional object will be represented on a flat surface. I hope all of you understood the advantages and disadvantages of a map. So in this video, what we have learned we have learned about the globe. Already we know what is a globe. Still we recapitulated that what is a globe, what are the advantages and disadvantages of a globe. We also came to know that what are maps, why do we need maps or what are the purposes of map, what is atlas. We came to know about cartography, about cartographers, about some important cartographers. Also we came to know about the advantages of a map and disadvantages of a map. And I hope all of you got it very clear what has been taught in today's video. So what you will do, you will read your NCRT, you will read in between the lines. You will also follow the PDF that has been provided in the description box. If you like my video and my content, do hit the like button and share the video as much as possible. If you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do hit the bell icon for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Stay tuned, I will be back soon with the video on the topic, the difference between a globe and a map. Till then, stay at your home and stay safe. Thank you.